I'm Jessica Audi. I'm a family physician from Nanaimo, BC. Well, I've looked at um, many different projects around the world to see what other countries were doing to tackle the problem of overdiagnosis and overtreatment. And I think it's a problem that's around the world, but it goes by many different names. So in Italy, where you have a tradition of the slow food movement, taking your time, uh, they have the slow medicine movement. Um, in Canada, we have Choosing Wisely, which is modeled after the American campaign. And that name was chosen very carefully so as not to alienate anyone, um, not focusing on the cost of care, not focusing on it being right care, implying that what we're doing was wrong, but that we're just going to have conversations and choose wisely. We've got prudent health care, all different terms, but we're really, we're talking about the same thing. And I think what that is, is integrating um, a patient's values, their goals, and what's important to them with good quality, best available evidence, and also the clinical judgment of the, the people involved who are uh, helping to care for this person. And I think the, that was what most surprised me is that there's no disagreement about that. I think we are, are all on the same page. We can call it many different things, um, but it's a universal uh, thing that people interested in, in preventing overdiagnosis um, are pursuing. Well, I think one of the things I'm most passionate about is uh, care for geriatric patients. I think often of diabetes and that in the frail elderly, we don't need to be as aggressive at defining diabetes or at treating it because actually doing so can cause harm. And I see this pretty well every day when I'm caring for patients. So I, I think that just because it's so common and it's a huge problem for elders, um, I think that, that would be the one. So this was started by the American Board of Internal Medicine originally in the U.S., has now spread to Canada. And what it is is a campaign to encourage conversations uh, with patients. And the campaign has sort of two sides. It has a side of a list of recommendations of things that we're doing that we probably shouldn't do um, and should have conversations with patients. Uh, for example, there's one that says uh, do not screen for thyroid um, function in a patient who doesn't have any symptoms. Um, so because we often overorder that test and we label people with minor abnormalities in their lab work as, as having a disease. Um, so that's one side of it and so educating the public and physicians. Well, choosing wisely does take courage, show more spine does because by definition we're going against history, we're going against the kind of tradition and it's very hard to change people around you. Um, and there are many reasons we're resistant to change. You know, we, we think that we're doing the best that we can. Um, a lot of the problem of overdiagnosis, overtreatment comes from best of intentions. You know, I want to make sure that my patient is okay, so I need to do this test just to make sure their thyroid's all right. Because what if it's not? They might suffer something from that. But I think in the process, people aren't realizing that they're doing more harm than good with these, these well-intentioned things. Um, but when, when they believe that, that they're doing good, it's, there's a lot of inertia there, a lot of resistance to change. And so you have to be a bit radical in order to challenge that. And I think, I think that's part of Show Your Spine. Mm -hmm.